Okay, so this is um, a video to show you the timelines in Photoshop. Uh, this is my first video. I hope to show you more of these. Uh, they will be really short videos just to show you one or two things really quick, quickly. And I hope to make many of those just to show uh, people how to actually use uh, the animation tools in Photoshop because a lot of things can be done. The particular thing about Photoshop is that it has two ways of animating. That is actually a good thing because depending on um, your style of animation you may find one to be more interesting than the other. And uh, one is quite classic, uh, be uh, very familiar to most people, and the other one is quite particular to Photoshop. So uh, yes, let's let's today let's have a look at how you bring up those two timelines and how you work with them. The, the first thing to know is that I am using here Photoshop CS6 Extended. Um, the the thing about version extended is that it offers the two. Uh, both versions of the timeline whereas if you don't have a version extended of Photoshop you may only have one of the two timelines available uh, let's let's go ahead and bring up the window tool for the timeline so you just go here window and click on timeline right here it brings up this little window I um, encourage you to put it at the bottom this is probably the best place to have it snap it down there so for the moment it's uh, empty, no tools obviously. Uh, you need to have a uh, document to work with. I'm going to go and create a new document. Okay, here we go. And uh, now I have this button here that says create video timeline. Uh, so I'm going to click on that and see what happens. Uh, we have now these uh, these tools here. We've got a layer and an audio track. Um, and this is, uh, this is very short here, but it's a little. Uh, little piece of, of film of um, duration. I'm going to zoom in that area by clicking on these one of these two buttons. You can just click on this and it zooms in inside the, the timeline. And this is your um, uh, indicator of where you are on the timeline. At the moment the timeline is just the same everywhere. But uh, as you can see maybe here it's got 150 frames more or less. So I'm going to go back on the first frame uh, and I have one layer at the moment but that is not an animation layer, it's a, it's a normal layer. So if I draw on this layer, uh, like this, and then I scroll through the timeline, uh, nothing happens, it's still just the same uh, same image. For, for me to actually see, uh, to create an animation, I need to have a particular animation layer. So let's bring up a animation layer. For that, go to Layer, and then um, And they go on video layers, click on new blank video layer. Uh, the, this video layer looks pretty much the same except that here you can see it has a little icon like a, a film icon and here as well it has a little icon uh, for film so that's, that tells you that this is a, a movie. Uh, now if I uh, hide the other one, um, so I've got nothing here to show but on the first frame I draw another first circle again and then if I go to, uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit more, and I go to the next frame, you see the circle disappears, and I can draw here something else. It's still in the same layer. So if I go back one frame, I can see the first circle. If I move forward one frame, then I can see the new circle, and I can go and draw another circle, and move forward another circle, move forward another circle. And here I've got my first little animation. There you go. As by scrolling with this little uh, tab here I can see the animation and you can play the animation by pl pressing here but there you go. So this is the first timeline, this is one first way of animating in Photoshop uh, so here an animation layer is just uh, like any other layer you can do the same things. So now I'm going to go to the second timeline to go to the second timeline, second type you have to click on a little button here, it's hidden in the corner, it's, uh, it's not very handy to have it here, it's not very clear that it actually exists, but here you go. So you click on this little three little dots here, um, yes, it will first to, con to convert your current animation into this new timeline, so you can uh, you, you continue and go ahead with that. Um, so here it's retain uh, my film layer. 
but uh, I'm going to um, get rid of it because it really actually is going to be useless for me so I'm gonna put that in there in the bin here it's so now it's very different you see it doesn't look the same um, I have here it's uh, here it works more like a series of slides I have the first slide available but if I want more slides I just click on this little button at the bottom here and create more slides so you can see all the slides here have a little duration at the bottom of them it says five seconds so here you will decide the duration of each individual slide so it's not like a movie where every frame will be uh, displayed uh, let's say at 25 frames a second or 12 frames a second here you will decide for each frame how long they're going to be visible so uh, I'm going to choose the first one for example uh, one second and the second I'm going to choose one second for each just uh, quickly and the way you would create an animation here is, is very different you don't have an animation layer so uh, what you do is that you go on each slide and decide what you see on each slide so let's go for the first one I'm going to show this first uh, circle uh, so it appears on every slide uh, but I'm going to hide it on number two for example and create a new layer um, so I'll create a new layer I'm, I'm on slide number two I'll create another circle I'm going to fill it in with white first there you go and draw a little circle here to be different now if I go back to the first slide and to the second alternate I can see the two different images and what it does is that basically you decide for each slide which layers are visible so if you want an animation of five lay five images you need actually five layers so I'm gonna go to th number three uh, duplicate the layer maybe create uh, a new just erase that create a new one up now I've got three little circles and I'm gonna just uh, erase the two last ones and I can play my animation a little quickly one second each there you go so that's your second tool um, it these are very different ways of animating to be honest and depending on what you want to do you might find that one is easier than the other so that's it for today um, I hope this is helpful in a future little videos I will show you a bit more uh, what you can do with these tools uh, don't hesitate to leave comments uh, or sus subscribe I'll be really happy to try and make videos according to your questions thank you